The Summit City proving to be one of the most affordable housing markets in the nation, according to a new report. Fox 55's Nico Panisi tells us why we've come out on top. Fort Wayne's now ranked 82nd in national best performing cities for 2021 by the Milken Institute. The city's jumped 29 spaces from last year. Community Research Institute Director Rachel Blakeman says this comes at no surprise. Low interest rates are going to be helping folks. Uh, people who have two incomes in their household are going to make that more attractive. So it's nice to get some positive national attention for something that we've known about for a long time. Housing affordability is what sets us apart. Affordability is gauged not on how low homes are selling or renting for, rather individuals paying less than 30% of their income on housing costs. We came in as the third most affordable of the 200 largest metros in the country. That's a pretty impressive metric. Realtor Patrick Harris says it's not all it's cracked up to be. It also doesn't take into account the housing crunch that we're in with low inventory. So you get a lot of very mixed up expectations as far as what Fort Wayne can offer a person and what they can't based on housing prices, availability, negotiations on getting a deal accepted and so on. The conflicting landscape can be hard for new home buyers and renters to understand. He says there's not enough properties available for the demand. Seller also realize that, yeah, they can sell their houses at top value, but then they're going to turn around and buy another house and they're going to end up paying top value too. And so it creates an, a situation where sellers are looking at it and going, well, why should I sell my house now and then pay so much more to buy another house when I'm perfectly okay with where I'm at? Still, Blakeman is hopeful. Well, the fact that we have that housing affordability makes us very favorable and should be able to help us attract new people to come to Fort Wayne. In Fort Wayne, I'm Nico Panisi, Fox 55 News. Now for more information on the report, go ahead and visit our website at WFFT.com.